please welcome to the stage the man set to be the 31st Prime Minister of Australia. No, God, please, no, no! I begin by acknowledging the traditional owners of the land and on behalf of the Australian Labor Party, I commit to the Uluru Statement from the Heart in full. No! The question that Australians will be asked at this year's referendum is a very simple one. Some of you are the wrong colour. I think that what we need is to get back to these radical roots of the Communist Party. No. Senator Napanjipa Price out there spreading lies, spreading mist and disinformation. It will read, a proposed law to alter the constitution. No, no. White and racist. No, no, no. no, no. To recognise the first peoples of Australia. Were we the world's first agriculturalists? No. By establishing an Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander voice. The colonial system and the colonisers say they are sovereign. Do you approve this, uh, this proposed alteration? No. That's the question. This is a war! Before the Australian people. Nothing more, but nothing less. Um, and you are an important part of the struggle, just like commun our communist elders. This is a modest request. Australia with an Indigenous heritage, a British foundation and the migrant richness of the migrant experience is a lovely idea. I don't know where that Australia is. We haven't lived in that Australia. I say to you... Oh, God! <laughs> I say to Australia, if you're a dinosaur, a dickhead, don't miss it. Don't miss it. You know, there, there does need to be reparations here. There does need to be compensation. There does need... All right, God damn it! I've heard enough! So there it is. Anthony Green has called it at 7.24pm. The Indigenous Voice referendum has been defeated. There has been some really uh, horrible... Uh, political campaigning. What a stupid, f***ing, nonsensical slogan that is. Uh, but we have seen a, a disgusting campaign from the No People. Uh, and let that let be that come out. It's over. Go home. Well, just like commu our communist elders. Go. And when he walked me home <laughs> It's been disgusting to be frank. Get the fuck out of here.